Hello, my name is uh, Dan Dow. I'm your instructor for um, your IMED 1316 or 1416 class. This is Web Design 1 uh, with it. So, uh, look through. Uh, this is the same syllabi I'm going to use for three different sections in here. Um, so, as I go through the syllabi, uh, just point out how we communicate with it as well. Um, this is my full name with it. Uh, this is my email, but let me tell you something. The way how you communicate with me is to use eCampus uh, tools, send email, and select my name in the text. And this will tag your email and the section number, and we'll avoid going to spam box. So avoid using my email directly because uh, most likely it's going to probably go into the spam box with it. And plus, I need to know what course and what section you're sending from to us. Well, it just helps me know what assignments that we're talking about here. Um, I have over 90 students this semester, so you can help me out with it. I do have an office number. Um, I'm in and out of the office. I'm most of the time in the classroom with it, so if you need to see me, we could actually make an appointment to virtual office hours to, um, to uh, need. We can also meet in person as well. Um, the virtual office hours will be done in virtual. It's like Zoom in, um, in your um, Blackboard. It's called office hours in there as well. I'll talk more about it with it. All right, uh, we can do virtual office hours. We'll make up, you know, a set of a time that uh, we can have with you uh, if you need help uh, or talk for anything like that with it. So uh, this is the course. It's either 1416 or 1316. Both of these are your um, your course number with it. Uh, these are the sections that you have with it. So when you go to the course syllabi, make sure you pick the right course number and the right uh, the right section number that you enroll for with it as well. Again, this is for spring 2023, the semester with it. I am obligated to explain to you that um, um, the two, uh, the dates for this is, um, uh, for this section, 72001 meets Monday, Wednesdays, uh, 9.30 at North Lake with it. And this is the room number that they have me scheduled for. Um, and the other one is at... Um, uh, are both online section with it. So I, there, again, I have, if you need help, come to class, come to class with it. Um, or else you can walk up to stay online. Every, everything I have is on Dunn's videos, exactly the way how I have with it. Um, this is the cert date, meaning um, if you drop the class before this date, you will never see a W in your transcript. If you drop the class after January the 30th with it, you will have a W in your transcript. The last day to get a W on your transcript is April the 13th with it. So if you drop the class between January the 30th to April the 13th, 2023, there will be a W in your transcript with it. If you drop the class before January 30, this course never existed in your transcript with it. So uh, that's what this is about with it. I wanna, I'm not going to read through this. You, you read through this and all that with it. But um, I do want to point out some things with it. Uh, the instructor, that's me. Um, I will provide all the learning material for this as well with it. So um, everything I do is industry related. So I bring in from industry material to actually to develop with, with you as well. There isn't a particular um, book that I can teach you from because this material changes constantly with it. However, I do recommend you to have some sort of cloud storage. Now all of you will uh, have access to what's called the, um, the OneDrive with it because you're a Dallas College student and with your OneDrive you can actually store like one terabyte of storage on there with it. So either a G Drive or digital Dropbox, anything storage as a cloud storage is good with it. You need to do that as well. Okay. Uh, you will need to have in this class, you need to have a, some sort of device hardware, meaning either a Mac operating system or a PC, at least Windows 10. All right. Um, iPad and Android tablets is not going to, it's not the same thing as on a computer. You got to have file structure on here for the, for this class, so you need to be able to do it um, to learn file structure with it. Uh, you need to have a positive attitude and motivation to learn. Uh, that's the key thing with it. So here's the breakdown for the class with it is I have discussion boards. All of my discussion boards are video based. You're going to need some video recording and you're just going to upload your link to the discussion board. And I just watch your video uh, discussing on the topics with it. There's quiz one and two. There are two, you know, two of them. They're 50 points each. Um, they're 100 points. Weekly assignment, class exercise. There's 
there's I sign nine, I drop the latest one, one of the nine, so I only take eight, and there's 75 points each with it. So this is where you're going to spend most of your time is the class exercises and labs in here with it as well. So there's midterms and there's a final exam, and they're all multiple choice, by the way. All right? You should have a total of 1,000 points with it, and this is the breakdown, pretty universal across Dallas College that we have with it. Um, um, so I'm trying to get you guys to avoid late work with it. Like, like I said, I always the only late work I get to I would I would ask for medical documentations. Okay, so um, try to get your work in. I give you plenty of time to get your work in. So the way how it works is this. Um, let me zoom out here and explain how this uh, how the course calendar work with it. So um, just read through this um, as, on your own with it and. Then, I have, like, if there's a class exercise, all these are what I call as assignments. Class exercise, discussion board, quizzes, and exams. If they are due on a certain date, meaning that the, at the end of the day, meaning midnight, it will disappear. Uh, for online section, you got your mandate to do discussion boards with it. There's four, and there's all, they're all video-based. You don't type anything with it. So I give you a, kind of like a controversial uh, topic, and you would actually go in and you would take aside how you support it okay um, the third is that um, I like I said you need to have a PC or a Mac opera system for this class with it no tablets no Android or iPad it's not going to work with it as well of course it's an online class but if it's an on-campus class you do need to have some sort of internet uh, for this course with it please give me three or four days to give you your feedback for your class exercises and grade uh, as we approach this cold weather uh, or maybe this middle of this winter right here. The winter we've been, our winter has been mild so far, I think, and we've been um, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty blessed to have uh, warm weathers with it. But we still have, to have January and February to go through here. So, um, like I said, it, there could be ice days in this next couple of months with it. So um, this in the next few weeks with it. I do have virtual office hours. Let me know if you need help. So here's the way how you read this. Everything I color coded here is based and matches the color code that's from the top over here. So red, yellow, and the blue, the purple, and all of this is uh, color and match. And you have a window how things are, are released and how things are done. So for example, if you look at this discussion board that's re released right now with it today, you have uh, January the 17th to January the 24th. Any time between this time uh, to the midnight of the 24th, is when the discussion boards are going to disappear with it. So everything that I have is a window of opportunity. Like I said, uh, class exercise number one is released on the 18th. And it's due on the 27th. Now, just because it's due on the 27th, it doesn't mean that you should wait until the 27th to work on it, right? Get it done, knock it out, upload it so I can grade it and I can move forward. Again, quiz number one is released on the 19th and when it closes it's going to be on the 27th so that's how you read uh it's a window of of time that things are gone if if you don't pay this we're going to adhere to this calendar as much as possible so i would keep this syllabus or this part of the document handy somewhere on your desk somewhere that you can refer to uh and you can look at what day you're on where you're supposed to be and it goes on and on and, and, and on this whole thing with it okay so um like i said uh, just follow the calendar as as close as possible with it all right that's all i have for this syllabi with it um like i said i want to get more than 10 minutes of my discussion with it go back just review this and we'll talk more about this later if you have any question shoot me an email by using eCampus tools uh send an email and pick my name that's how i want you to send emails with it as well all right thanks